Hey everyone, Ivy League Gaming here, and today we're playing Honkai Star Rail. For today's video, we're going to take a deeper dive into the lore of Weld Yang. What should we know about him? We as in those of us that have not played the other Honkai series games. So I've actually got requested by multiple people to do a reaction video to this specific video about Well Yang. So let me pull that up. So we're going to be watching one of Homu Lab's uh, videos here. Let me subscribe. <laughs> they play Honkai Impact 3rd and Honkai Star Rail. They have a lot of views on their videos. They've done very well. In particular, the story of Well Yang. It says I've already watched it, but I haven't. I think it was one that actually just kept rolling after I watched another video when I didn't actually. But I, yeah, I definitely did not watch this yet. And yeah, I'm very curious to dive a little bit deeper. I did already do a video reacting to things you should know about the Honkai series before playing Honkai Star Rail. And if you're going to feel like you're missing anything or not. So if you haven't already watched that, go watch that as well. I feel like that's a good overview of the universe and how some of the characters tie in together and the sentiment overall of should you be concerned story-wise if you did not play the other Honkai games. So go check that out. But let's go ahead and watch and react to this video now. So I will go ahead and of course link this video in the description and the pinned comment as well. And yeah, this is everything you need to know about Welt Yang before playing Honkai Star Rail. So this will give us a little bit of a deeper context to Welt. Because from what I understand now, Welt is pretty much the same. Like some other characters might have different stories, like, a, like they're in an alternate universe. And there's no connection to their past. But Welt seems to actually have a connection to the past. It might be like the key for why they're here, I think, or why they've, yeah, all gotten where they've gotten. Um, seems a bit complicated, but it's quite interesting. So let's go ahead and give this a watch. Hope you guys enjoy. Let's get to it. It's a little bit longer. My bad. So let's roll. I just want to give a very big spoiler warning, guys. Spoiler warning. I'm saying this after I've actually already done this reaction and video. The video is a bit long because the video I'm watching is a bit long. I do my best not to pause too much during the actual thing so we all can just kind of process it as we're going along. But huge spoilers for the Honkai Impact in particular series, game, whatever you want. If you are interested in playing um, Honkai Impact 3rd or the other Honkais, I would say don't watch this video if you don't want to be spoiled about the stories. If you're playing the games in reverse, if you found Honkai Star Rail and it's made you curious about Honkai Impact, well, this is going to spoil major, major plot points, I think, of the story of that game. So I also go over some dialogue from Honkai Star Rail that allude to a lot mentioned in this video. You've been warned. <laughs> played Honkai Impact 3rd before, you might be very confused as to why people lose their minds over this plain looking grandpa that is seemingly obsessed with making anime and going on space adventures with a bunch of kids. I love well, don't call him grandpa. How do you do fellow kids? What? It's okay though, without knowing his backstory, well, comes out as a pretty strange guy. I even saw people saying that, and I quote, He's ugly and I don't understand why would anyone want to play as him. I think Welt is quite handsome, and he is my favorite guy character. Haters gonna hate. And to that, I'll have to borrow a quote from a certain individual known as Jesus. Forgive them, Father, for they do not know what they are doing, or saying in this case. So, let me get my glasses and let Grandpa Homo Labs tell you youngsters a story. 
a story about a hero who saved Earth countless times. A man that endured insurmountable obstacles and managed to rise to the challenge every time, shouting in the face of adversity, I am wealth of humanity and I stand against you Dark Queen as a warrior guardian of the human race. Ok, to be fair, his lines are a bit corny, but even so, you can't help but fangirl over this man whenever he appears. It is no surprise that Hoyoverse chose him to be the one character from Honkai Impact 3rd to come over to Star Rail. We even have a meme in the Honkai community that Welt is just that way as a self insert in the story. <laughs> anyway, here is everything you need to know about Welt Yang before you embark on your trailblazing journey with him. Joachim Nokian Vartanen, aka Walt Yang, is a character with a very long history. But before and learning name. anything about his chadliness, we must learn about the man whose name he inherited, Walt Joyce. Throughout the history of human civilization, major Honkai incidents that lead to the deaths of thousands are referred to as Honkai eruptions. These are usually accompanied by the awakening of cursors, powerful beings that can ban physical laws. In 1952, the first Honkai eruption took place in Berlin and took the lives of 300,000 people. Amidst the ruins of the disaster, a young man that didn't have any memories of his past was wandering around. Due to a special property of the core of reason, the minds of the 300,000 deceased were absorbed into his Herscher core and allowed the man to resist the influence of the Honkai, making it possible for him to become the first Herscher that fights for humanity. He was eventually found by a secret organization that combats the Honkai, known as Shiksal. After years of experimentation, he was transferred to the Shiksal's London division, where he met Mophead and Lobster, uh, I mean Einstein and Tesla, for the first time. He also got to know a scientist by the name of Elias Nokian Vartanen. There, the man was treated with kindness and respect, and Einstein even chose a name for him, Welt, which is German for world, and Joyce, after the Irish author James Joyce. In the time spent there, Welt catches the eye of Elias' son, a small and shy boy by the name of Joachim. Alas, fate would soon turn its ugly gaze upon them. They discovered that Shiksal was hiding many secrets and that Otto Apocalypse, the current overseer of the organization and a professional clown, had more important plans than fighting the Honkai. They also discovered a weapon left by a previous civilization from 50,000 years ago known as the previous era that was wiped out by the Honkai. The weapon was called the Star of Eden and it was made from the Herscher core of the previous era Herscher of Earth, who had the power to control gravity and sunk an entire continent under the ocean. From that day onwards, the Star of Eden became the signature weapon of the Herscher of Reason. As things escalated, a confrontation between Addo and Welt's group was imminent. Addo killed Elias and took over the body of a Valkyrie named Rihanna, causing a lot of havoc. Joyce, with very little time, managed to take control of his powers and fought back. Addo, who was pushed into a corner, decided to blow up the entire city of New York to make sure that no one who knew his secrets will live. Oh Joyce God. used his remaining powers to create a barrier and protect the city from the incoming nukes. He was successful, but the damage he sustained was too much for his body. In his last moments, Joyce entrusted his Herscher core and name to the young Joachim, who lost both his father and his hero on that day. After those events, the Shiksal oh, American branch renamed itself into Anti-Entropy and Joachim, who now goes by the name Welt Yang, became the new sovereign of the organization. Whoa, okay, that was pretty intense. So... <sighs> Ooh, I feel like I need to watch that like five times. <laughs> Obviously, we don't really need to, need to know, need to still enjoy Honkai Star Rail. I get it. But it really is cool to understand Well in Particular's backstory. 
because he is yeah a key he's like the the one that is the same as they said they brought him over from the universe pretty directly so uh, uh, this this is really cool so far let me know if you guys have any comments about this information and what you like best or find confusing most interesting don't like about the lore of Welt Yang? I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments. I'm trying not to pause it too often because, you know, it's a, this one's a bit longer and I want to make sure we could all process it together if you guys haven't watched this one already. Or you're like me and you like to watch these things a couple times. You've watched it once but you want to rewatch it with me and have a discussion. <laughs> In the year 2000, the second eruption gave birth to the Herscher of the Void in Siberia. The Herscher was a girl named Sirin who was a test subject in Shiksal's Babylon Tower. Anti-entropy was forced to take action and Welt engaged the Herscher in a direct fight. He used all the might of human civilization to create a fleet of tanks, ships, aircrafts and other weapons to stop Sirin. I think I should mention here that the Herscher of Reason has the power to construct literally anything as long as the user has an understanding of that object's composition. Welt is almost victorious but Aro disguised himself and stopped Welt from dealing the final blow because he needed the Herscher's powers for his goal. Sirin escaped to the moon where she got blessed with even more power from the will of Honkai and challenged Welt to a final battle on the giant piece of cheese. Welt was like, challenge accepted. <laughs> but knowing that he cannot win, he planned to blow up his own Herscher core and take out both himself and Sirin at the same time. In the end, he traveled to the moon together with Siegfried, one of Shiksel's knights and Kiana Kaslana's father. Welt's plan ultimately failed and Sirin took his core before he can detonate it. Welt died, but in a true Sigma male fashion, he already had a plan in place even for this turn of events. Since the Herscher of Reason's core can house human minds, he transferred his consciousness into the core right mm. before his physical body died. Then he waited for an opportunity to strike and used his powers to construct a new body for himself. Oh, With shit. his intervention, the tides of the battle were turned against the Herscher of the Void and humanity emerged victorious. In the following years, Welt took up the role of a substitute teacher at a university in America. One of his students was Murata Himeko, a young girl interested in studying the stars and the galaxy. During that time, Himeko traveled to New Mexico to investigate some UFO sightings Always New Mexico. and Welt accompanied her to keep her away from the truth since those alleged UFO sightings were actually tests that anti-entropy was doing in the area. Himeko's father, Murata Ryusuke, was a Shiksal researcher who ran away from Aro and sought help from anti-entropy. He discovered the existence of a small and fluffy alien species called the Sugars and even befriended one of them named Peppermint. The sugars were hiding on Earth from another alien civilization called the Sky People. The Sky People traveled to different worlds to harvest Honkai energy, causing destruction in the process. In an attempt to combat one of Sky People's vanguard stones that was approaching Earth, Welt and Ryusuke boarded a rocket and flew into space. After dealing with it, Ryusuke suddenly started monologuing about humanity's potential and revealed his true intention. He wanted to steal Welt's Herscher powers to fulfill his plan and free humanity from this planet. Oh Ryusuke killed Peppermint and took over his powers. With Aww. some help from the Sugars, Welt defeated Ryusuke and put an end to his madness. The Sugars, although grateful to Welt for saving them, decided to leave this world since their existence has been discovered. Himeko, who was kept in the dark, gave up on her studies and joined Shiksal as a Valkyrie to investigate what really happened to her father. Unlike Himeko, you don't have to join a secret military organization to learn more about the Honkai. All you need to do is subscribe to this channel and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Thank you. 
not much happens during this time. Well is hiding and poses as a teacher at Saint Freya, a Valkyrie school built by Teresa Apocalypse in the Far East. In the meantime, Cocolia, another anti-entropy agent, tries to take advantage of Weld's absence and take over the organization using Feels a familiar. clone of Weld, Joyce. In the end, Weld reveals his identity and easily defeats the clone created by Cocolia, proving that no fake can ever match him. So is it the same Cocolia too? I mean, that can't be a coincidence, right? In the events of the game, Welt and Einstein made multiple experiments involving the Sea of Quanta, which is this strange dimension that exists in between different worlds. One day, they come into contact with a powerful entity known as the Serpent, who wanted to escape into reality. To prevent that, Welt sealed himself inside the Sea of Quanta to make sure that the Serpent will not escape. After the reawakening of the Hersher of the Void, Cocolia and her forces retreated to the Deep End, an underwater city left behind by the people of the previous era. There, they were attacked by Shixal forces, and left without options, Cocolia asked Teresa, Einstein and Tesla for help. After a big turn of events, Bronya ends yeah. up jumping into the Sea of Quanta and meets Joachim, a kid version of Weld who has prepared a set of trials for her. After Bronya cleared them, Joachim deemed her as a worthy successor to the Hersher of Reason's powers and passed the core to her. They eventually meet the Serpent, who turned out to be Kevin Kaslana, one of the heroes of the previous era who fought the Honkai 50,000 years ago. Bronya was quickly defeated, but Weld, who stored his consciousness inside the core again, recreates his body and saves her. In the end, they were unable to stop the Serpent's escape, but managed to safely return to reality. Welt wants to let Bronya take over the core of reason and offers to teach her how to use the Hersher of Reason's powers properly. After the Honkai was sealed on the moon, Welt opened up an animation studio where he worked on multiple projects, the most notable one being Arahato, a mecha anime that he started a few decades ago to get some funding for anti-entropy. One day, Shixel sent a squad formed by Raiden May, Carol Peppers and Mr. Paycheck oh, to hey. San Fontaine. Their mission was to find and rescue Welt Yang, who disappeared in the city a few days prior. Saint Fontaine was facing an unprecedented crisis and instead of humans, the city was full of strange mechanical creatures that turned out to be the sky Feels people like who were brought to earth by Egan. Void Archives, a sentient divine key from the previous era to get rid of the Honkai on the moon. I know, it sounds really complicated, but don't beat your head around it too much. After Just they dealt with the threat of the sky people, Welt and Void Archives infiltrated one of the sky people's spaceships. There, they found out that the Sky People are targeting Himeko, but not Himeko from Honkai Impactor that Welt knew, instead it's another Himeko from a different world, Honkai Star Rail Himeko. Being what? the hero that he is, Welt wanted to save her, but first somebody needed to save him from the Sky People's ship. Luckily, the Sugars were nearby and they didn't forget Welt's kindness, so they saved and brought both him and Void Archives back to Earth. From there, we don't really know how Welt made it to Himeko and the Astral Express. We only have this dialogue from Himeko in which she says that she found Welt and his friend, who is most likely Void Archives since they refer to him as a he, while visiting a world called Salsoto in a mission from Herta to look for a material called Candace Glass. Most likely, after returning to Earth, Welt found a way to travel to Himeko's world, and since then he's been stuck on the Astral Express searching for a way back home. Thankfully, his spirit and youthful vigor haven't changed and now he enjoys a new set of adventures through the galaxy while guiding a new generation of youngsters on their journey. I mean, it's not like he has a wife and a child waiting for him back home. Oh wait, <laughs> I, I guess you could say that he really went to buy some milk. <laughs> okay, so there's a lot there and he didn't even talk about the wife and child or unless I missed that in this other deeper part. Um, 
Whew, okay, so the biggest part, I think that's the most important here, is the reality of this, let's see. Most replayed, literally. <gasps> Look at this star above on YouTube. Oh, you can't see it's behind me. They actually, like, this part about Himiko, YouTube is saying is the most replayed part. Oh, yeah, right People are here. targeting Himeko, but not Himeko from Honka Impact 3rd that Welt knew. Instead, it's another Himeko from a different world, Honka Star Rail Himeko. Being the hero that he is, Welt wanted to save her, but first, somebody needed to save him from the Sky People's ship. Luckily. Okay, I thought there was something, maybe they just didn't mention it as detail here, where. Something in in the Honkai Impact world, something went wrong with that Himiko. Um, and Welts, and him not being able to save her. So in this situation, being able to save her again, he couldn't resist. Like he had to try to help her, because he failed once before. I could be getting that a little bit wrong. Um, but I feel like the other video kind of mentioned that. But. Whew, this was a really big deep dive here. And the following day here, I found this while perusing the Astral Express cabin. So let me go through and read off the conversation with Himiko and Welt through interacting with the companion. When we first met Welt, he and his friend were drifting through space. The Express saved the two of them. Welt is still trying to find a way back home to a planet I've never heard of. However, it seems more he's interested in going on adventures. It's been a while since I've heard him mention going home. And on to Welts. My past? Sorry to disappoint you, but I'm just an ordinary white-collar employee. Back home, I worked as a concept artist at an animation studio. About his powers? Long story short, my powers come from an older acquaintance. You can say I inherited his mission and will. I can mimic anything as long as I understand its principles, which is useful for work. As for black holes, that's an even longer story. My friends are far away. I hope to find a way back home with the Astral Express's help. People are waiting for me to go back, after all. But this isn't something that can be solved with impatience. There aren't many ways to travel between worlds, and the Astral Express has graciously accepted me. I've asked Madame Herda to send a signal to my home. If my family receives my message, they will know that I'm safe. I... I mean, it's awesome, right? It's so good. Um, but it's a lot, right? It's... It's a lot. It, it's interesting here to... try to break down where Welt came from because, like, he's... It's like he... He took some... Took over some other identities pretty much well he kind of became his own person but took over took on their names um and took on some special powers passes the powers on to Branya as well but obviously he still has that same power too so that's curious but it's literally the transition of welts through the honkai universe into honkai star rail and that's how they're there is because he went to go help save this Himiko from another world. It's definitely a lot to unpack. I could not tell you a th synopsis of all of this too quickly. It's definitely one of those things where it's... You want to be like, oh, so what's Welt's connection to Honkai Star Rail? And you're like, how long do you got? <laughs> it's quite complicated. There's a lot to unpack here. But let me know in the comments below, what do you think about this? Did you really like to hear these deeper thoughts, or not thoughts, this deeper connection to the Honkai universe? Does it affect the way you see Welt? Uh, do you not really care about it? Do you want to play Honkai Star Rail not worrying about the rest of the Honkai series? I mean, personally, I feel like I'm curious because it's still part of the Honkai series in some way, right? I, I think knowing the connections, at least on a surface level, is helpful. But yeah, that's a lot to unpack. I might go watch this all over again, honestly. It's really interesting, and I want to, uh, yeah. I want to get to know Welt more, right? I love Welt. He's a great character, but... Alright, this was a long video, guys, especially with 
this being a 14 minute video that I was reacting to to begin with so I tried my best not to stop it too many times so hope you guys appreciate that but this was fun to watch and I'm definitely learning a lot about the Honkai universe already hope this wasn't too spoilery like I said in the beginning this was full of heavy spoilers so if you missed that sorry not sorry I tried to warn you <laughs> but thanks for watching guys make sure you watch my other video that's more so a what you should know about the Honkai series uh before watching or playing Honkai Star Rail as well and I'll see you in the next video.